All right. Well, welcome everyone. We're uh, live here on Facebook. So if you're uh, if you're watching us, give us the old thumbs up. Uh, give us a smiley face, you know, and and uh, let us know you're there. You know, just uh, just hit the like button and and uh, and tell us you're there. Hi, my name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick, and and this is the the Sizzle World Team. I guess we're the SWT team, the SWAT team now. And uh, and you know the Sizzle products are so incredible. I mean, I'm telling you, they are so incredible that it's, uh, we hear stories all the time. We hear stories all the time. Uh, last week, last Friday, to be exact, um, a new product came out. They introduced the, the new Sizzle, uh, Sizzle Safe CBD, if you can see that bottle there. And here, I get it out of the, out of, you know, out of the shadows there so you can see that. But it, uh, it arrived in these really nice packaging. And I got mine on Monday. I ordered it on Friday. I got it on Monday. I was outside here. I'm going to give a little testimonial right away. I was outside here moving some heavy, wet snow. And when I got done at the end of the day, my, my back was stiff and sore. That leg that had been nearly ripped off in the motorcycle accident was bothering me. And uh, so I took some. I just, I took I took what was recommended for somebody my size, and uh, which I know, Alan, you're going to make fun of it, and you're going to say I probably probably should take the whole bottle, but I won't. I won't say that. Anyhow, um, you know, I, I for somebody my size, and I took just a little bit, and uh, and within 15 minutes to half an hour, all of the spasms in my back had dissipated. I felt amazingly better within 15 to 20 minutes. And then what I noticed is throughout the rest of the evening, I just started feeling more relaxed. And, and for people who know me, they know that I don't relax very good. I'm always, I'm always hopping here and hopping there. I got to have something in front of me. I got to be working. If, if I'm not working, I'm sleeping. That's the two things I'm doing. And I'm doing something or I'm sleeping. And I found after taking um, the Sizzle CBD product, I actually felt like I was relaxing. I went to bed that night and I slept through the night. And I woke up the next day and uh, on Tuesday and I felt great and I realized, you know what? That's the first full night of sleep, first full restful night that I've had since my motorcycle accident 12 years ago. I just, and, and there's a long story to go with it that I'm not gonna share because I'd spend the next two hours telling you that, but, um, yeah, I slept good. And, and so I've been doing the Sizzle CBD every day since, and I've just had great sleep every night uh, since I took it. And, and on Tuesday on the doctor's clinic call, if you haven't listened to the doctor's clinic call, uh, go on the, on the YouTube channel, the Sizzle World Team YouTube channel, and listen to the call from Tuesday. We talk a little bit about the benefits of, of CBD. And one of the things that they say about CBD is that, if you take it at a certain time and, and, and you, you know, uh, uh, take it, it's going to actually help you so that you fall asleep better. But if you take it and you, you take it like right before you go to sleep, if you don't have any trouble falling asleep, it's going to make it so that you have better sleep maintenance. And that's what I needed. I needed to have that, that full night's rest. And, uh, Pretty amazing. I, I, I've, I've really been surprised because I've been taking CBD, you know, illegally. I, here in North Dakota, I've been taking CBD illegally uh, for the last three years, and I've, I haven't had this kind of an effect. And so I'm, I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm really pleased with our, with our new product. And so I, I recommend anybody that's having trouble sleeping, Take a look at this, and we can't we can't make any any claims, medical claims, anything like that. I'm just seeing that saying that I slept better, and I'm guessing you might too. So, with that, I'm going to run up to my buddy up in in Canada, uh, Alan Hordell. Alan Hordell's been in the network marketing industry what about 40, 45 years now um, since Dirk was invented, and uh, and. And uh, Alan, you know, you've had some amazing results with the products. Just like me, um, you got in a really bad accident and, and, and uh, we're in the hospital for quite a while. You were actually in a coma longer than me, but share a little bit about what you've noticed. 
<clears throat> well, good evening, everybody, and uh, thanks for inviting me here to the call tonight, Kurt. Uh, you know, it's interesting when you talk about that and you talk about your experiences. You know, uh, I uh, I had virtually the same experience as you did in a horrific accident, which I'm not going to go into detail either because that could take another two hours as well as your, your incredible situation. But we went through uh, very similar um, accidents, one being your leg and one being my shoulder and my arm, uh, way back, uh, you know, uh, about the same time within a year of apart of each other. And, and one of the things that when I was going through my nerve transplants and muscle transplants and, and going through all kinds of crazy things in operations that I never thought I'd ever experienced as a professional athlete in the world of hockey and racing snowmobiles and everything, you know, I never thought in my life at the age of 52 that I would ever um, have to experience this dreadful thing, this dreadful accident that, you know, that, you know, did actually claim my life. And thank God to some great doctors re retrieved me back from the death, uh, my deathbed. And uh, so in saying that, you know, it was, it was remarkable. I was just talking with Tom Maurer the other day <clears throat> and through a messenger system. And we were talking about uh, myself being in the company 10 years. And one of the things that what happened to me after my accident I, and being in the hospital and in body casts and everything else, uh, I, I wound up gaining a lot of weight. I wound up gaining 75 pounds. I wound up gaining all kinds of horrific things happening to me. When you get to be over the age of 50, these start to happen to you anyway. I mean, that's called aging. And, 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 but then when you get in an accident like Kurt and I had, uh, it happens faster because we just don't have the mobility anymore. We, we're restricted to operations and everything else. So I wound up with, uh, with diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And I remember so distinctly back 10 years ago when I talked, in fact, it was 10 and a half years ago, I talked just about coming up to 11 years in May, I was talking to Tom Maurer, and we were talking about uh, having incredible supplements that could uh, start to replenish my nerve transplants that I had, uh, not knowing that I'm going to have muscle transplants coming up in the near future. Um, and, and Tom started talking to me about this, and Tom's you know, you know, Tom's a brilliant man. He, he's an absolute brilliant man when it comes to uh, science and, and, and biology and chemistry and, and putting products together. And start, Tom started talking to me like that. And, and I already gained quite a bit of weight and I was already diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And Tom said to me, he says, I'm going to bring out a, a product this, this coming September, Alan. And he says, and, and Tom spent over two hours, I'll never forget it that day, he spent over two hours with me. And I knew Tom from his company before called New Ways that went to be the fifth largest company in the world. And, uh, you know, uh, Tom said to me, I'm going to bring a product out with my cellular protein. He said, I'm going to bring a product out to the marketplace that's absolutely going to tear up the marketplace when it comes to um, a protein shake. And, and it got me excited. <laughs> it really got me truly, truly excited. And I said to Tom, and I, I was already with the company for uh, 10, so I was already with the company for 12 years uh, coming up to that stage. And I was not looking at actually changing into another company. I'll be very honest. And Tom says, and I said to Tom, I said, if you bring this product out, as soon as you get it, you send it to me and I'll join your company. And, and come September of that year, um, he we got back in a call and he says, it's ready, Alan. I've got a product called My Cellular Protein. It's called Sizzaline. And he says, I want you to try it. He sent me a whole tub of it. And, and, and I started on that product. Uh, and, and Lord help me. I'm, 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 I'm as far as I'm sitting right here today. Uh, within, within time, I started losing weight. My blood sugar count started coming down. And now... In, it, it took a long time. It took a long time because I was going through a lot of, of uh, I had nine operations, nine operations. So it took a long time. But in the meantime, I started taking Vicoitin. I started taking Spectrumax. I started taking Eternity. These were the lifeblood of Sizzle back in those days. We didn't have the age pill and everything else up until that time. And we started working the business. Include. I, I had no interest in working the business. I'll be honest with you. 
I was wor- I was only worried about putting my life back together as I know Kurt was after his accident. I was worried about putting my life back together. They were going to cut my arm off. They were going to say that I was going to be an invalid. I wasn't going to be able to do this. I wasn't going to be able to do that. And I said hogwash. And so today, to make a long story short, you know, along with the age pill, uh, the so many more of the products, I could just go on and on because I, I purchase and Kurt knows this. I, you know, I purchase anywhere from 300 to 500 to $600 worth of products a month, including the adaptogenic coffees. I mean, people, when I use the word adaptogenic, uh, most people don't even know what I'm talking about. But when you talk about Kota Kula and Bacapa and Shaga and waking up every morning to that amazing coffee, uh, which is absolutely incredible. I'm waking up to a micellar protein. Here's my resume in the morning. I use uh, the micellar protein. I use a banana and I use a green, a, a green ripish banana. I don't use an overripe banana because of the sugar content. I use kind of a greenish banana. And, and then I use, and then I have two cups of uh, apto, aptogenic coffee, sizzle coffee every single morning. And I can honestly tell you, and I can show you this by blood reports. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and give you a testimonial and give you a bunch of, you know what, I'm going to tell you the truth. And, and I can give this by my doctors and I have several doctors. Um, my blood sugar content now in the last four years has been anywhere from 5.8 to 6.2. I've been free of diabetes too now for close to four years and uh, the other thing too is I lost 72 pounds uh, I gained uh, to be honest with you I, I really gee, I, I screwed up over the winter time I gained about actually 20 pounds back I'm going to head back to the lake this week and get rid of that 20 pounds because it was a bad winter this year and I never got away into the sunshine and so you know sizzle products have changed my life and when you when you start changing people's lives with the product your business will start to grow because you'll start to share it you'll start to you really understand what what the home based business is all about there's so much uh, hype out there there's so much you know of, of what i call flim flam and tom calls them flim flam companies and flim flam products uh let me tell you something about cbd you know in the over the last year year and a half i've been looking at cbd and I knew eventually <clears throat> Tom someday would come to the marketplace with CBD. And I'm going to tell everybody on this call today, and this is the last thing I'm going to tell you, is that what I've learned in the last year of CBC is 80% of the product out here isn't what it's supposed to be. It is, it's very, very poor product, very poor quality product. You don't know what you're buying, and it's buyer beware. You know, when Tom talks about a COA, Certificate of Anthocenticity, that's easy for you to say, Alan. But anyways, you know what I'm talking about, COAs, and talking about having a license to manufacture, and there's very few of those in the United States, and, and Supernaturals is one of them, that's Tom's company, that has a license to manufacture CBDA, CB, CBD for uh, Sizzle. This is a very fine product. Unfortunately, we can't use it in Canada. We're not legal in Canada yet. Uh, United States is the only one virtually that we can we can market into. But understand one thing: if you are in Canada, or you are in Australia, I know it's disappointing for us not to be able to have the CBD. I know it. I'm on a prescription CBD. I'm very fortunate to be able to take CBD. But if you are in those countries that's not allowing CBD. Don't hold that back. Don't 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 let it hold you back. Get a hold of people that are in the United States. Start to market in the United States. You're a member of Sizzle. You can market anywhere. Start to market in the United States. Eventually, the governments of Canada, and we're, and we're working on it. Tom's working on it. The company's working on it. Eventually, the governments are going to say yes. You know, we we legalize marijuana, but we forgot about CBD. How crazy is that? We legalize everybody to smoke marijuana in Canada legally, but we forgot about CBD. That's you know, right. and 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 it's a sad thing. So you know, thankful to Tom and and Sizzle and 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 to working with Kurt over several years now, and ten years of being with the company and seeing the product that Tom's put forward and and brought forward. You know, it's remarkable because the products work. They, they truly do work. You know, and I got a letter today, you know, I, 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 I was kind of kidding Kurt about it, but I got a letter today saying, congratulations on being selected for Sizzle's recognition wall. We're incredibly honored, proud to feature your achievements front and center. In order to make this happen, we need a few things. You know, Sizzle's moving forward in the right direction now. It, it, it had all kinds of ups and downs like any company does. But I'm going to honestly tell you that Sizzle's moving forward in the right directions right now to be a massive company. 
and and it's going to take some more time. But you know, the diligence of the company, the 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 company's here to stay. It's one of the strongest companies out in the market. Tom is a true leader at that 76 years of age. I mean, this man is 50 years old as far as I'm concerned, and he's a great leader. He's a great man. He knows what he's doing, and it's in good hands. Um, is the road always the the smoothest road? No, it's always got bumps and rocks and ups and downs. But you know what? After 41 years of being in the industry, that's just network marketing. That's just network marketing. So thanks very much, Kurt, for letting me share my story and a little bit about myself and a little bit about being with Sizzle for 10 years. And I hope another 10 years is going to be incredible. Thanks, Kurt. All right. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Well, let's run on down over to uh, Australia. I'd like to run over to, um, to my friend, Marilyn. Um, Marilyn, you're going to have to unmute yourself there. You've muted yourself. There you go. And, and Marilyn, you know what I'd like to have you do right away? Can you just run across the room and show people how you do that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, um, Kurt, I'd like to start off with, um, I've been extremely surprised this year um, by the comments I'm receiving. And the first one came from you when I walked down those steep steps and across the stage to tell people about my bent finger, which is now, as you can see, perfectly straight. You weren't interested in that. All you were interested in was my agility. That's right, that's right. Um, I have a new neighbor um, across the road. And last Saturday, I went across and introduced myself to them and welcomed them into the cul-de-sac. And the first thing he said to me was, you look very healthy. I had somebody come here on Thursday and I've known this person for a very long time and she said, you look really healthy and I feel really healthy. My last medical appointment was January 2009. I'm Tom's age and for the last two years in November, I've had to front up to my doctor to get a form signed so that I could continue driving. And the 2nd November, when I was at the door ready to leave, he said, well, I suppose I'll see you this time next year. He said, you never get sick. And he was my <laughs> new ways up line <laughs> many <laughs> years ago. And like Alan, um, I'm a product of the products. I've used them now for 23 years. Okay. So to get on with what I wanted to talk about, Last year, I got bitten by redback spiders three times. If you're an Australian, you'll know it's a tiny little red spider. Um, and people can get dizzy, nauseous. Um, they can actually die. Uh, I didn't know I, I'd been bitten, except that I had this bright red patch here. And at first, I didn't know what it was. And out comes the terminator. And because I was concerned about it and didn't know what it was, I sprayed it on and off continually all day. When I come out of the garden, um, the first thing I do is rinse my arms off with um, enlivened shower gel and water and dry them. And then I come and grab the Terminator. And the Terminator, I don't know whether, can you, oh, oh what have I done? You're back. Um, there, yeah. yeah, I'm here, but I can't see you. No, we can see you. You can see me? Yeah. Okay. Well, can you tell me, can you see the Terminator on my dining room table? We sure can. And that's, as I come through the conservatory into the dining room, that's where it is because that's what keeps me, um, gets rid of all the mosquito bites. They even bite me through the, um, uh, through the back of my, um, shirt uh, and I swell because I think I'm allergic to them um, so I don't think Terminator ever gets the um, accolades that it should its old predecessor we called a hospital in a bottle and we used it for everything the other thing I want to talk about is organic cleanse now Katie sent you a photo Kurt um, are you able to put that up I'm not not right now I'm sorry Okay, because that's why I sent it through, because that was important for people to be able to see. Um, 
I don't know why I why I've disappeared off, but never mind. As long as you can see, we can see you on Saturday. Um, I I'd won a fish tray the night before at the club, um, and so on Saturday morning, the first thing I put the prawns into soak in organic lens. I was going to make um, pea and ham soup, and I put my green split peas um, into a bowl with organic lens. And the bacon hock I put into a saucepan, a stainless steel saucepan, and covered with water with organic lens. I had an urgent email come through, um, and I had to go out. And I was out for hours, and I, it meant I missed the um, webinar last Saturday, for which I apologise. And of course, when I came home, my split peas had absorbed all the water up. And I thought, oh, wow. Anyway, I um, rinsed and rinsed and rinsed until the water ran clean. Um, and I did the same with my prawns and the same with my bacon hock. Put it all in the um, pot and started to cook it and realised I'd put far too much... Uh, well, as I'm cooking it, I always have a, a bowl beside me and I, I skim the... Um, scum off the top. And I noticed that having soaked the green lentils, that the scum was white, not dark, horrible coloured yellow like it always is, and not a lot of it. And I realised I had put too much water and I hate um, weak pea and ham soup. So I grabbed some more green peas and didn't have time to soak them and put them in. And to my amazement, when they started to cook and release, I had this bright, dark, horrible looking um, scum coming on it. And I popped it on top of the um, uh, white scum and the, the contrast was absolutely incredible. So, you know, if... if if you don't believe or understand how important using organic lens is, then I feel sorry for you. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's one of the most important products that, um, apart from the supplements, that Sissel has produced. Everything in my garden, even though I'm an organic gardener, gets soaked. Every bit of produce, fresh produce I bring in from outside, it gets soaked. Chicken pieces get soaked. As I said, prawns get soaked. Um, the Pacific Ocean is contaminated with radiation from Fukushima when they dump cesium-130 uh, into, um, into our ocean. It's so important. I was just reading an article before I came online here on avocados. Somebody's done some testing in America and they tested the locally grown American ones and imported ones. And they found that 17% of them had listeria on the skin and um, also inside the fruit. I soak avocados. I soak everything. I soak pineapples, even the hard skin things. And Tom Tortoise, as you're soaking, give it a gentle massage. And I think that must help to release. Now, Sis will tell you, to soak for five minutes, three to five minutes. I don't soak anything under 15 minutes and often quite a lot longer. Um, and sometimes it's difficult um, to get, when you're rinsing, to actually end up with clean water, it takes um, a considerable amount of time. You bet. When, I, when I've done a, a big fresh um, shop, I can have four or five different soaks um, to do, and it can take me several hours. And I admit it's a pain in the A, but I know my health depends on it. You bet. Well, thank you know, Ma Marilyn, thanks for sharing all that. And you know, for people who are, who are just listening to the call, maybe just getting started with Sizzle, because I know a lot of times there's, there's new people that are getting involved. Uh, Marilyn's talking about a couple products that, you know, they're not in the, in the, in the top echelon of our best-selling products. They're, they're products that are, that are they're necessary, as Marilyn's explaining, but they're not the ones that get talked about because they're not like the, 
you know, the CBD. They're not like the, you know, about the, like the, like the H2 sticks or anything like that. They're, they're products that are essential, but they're not the, the um, showcase products. And, and so when she talks about the Terminator, the Terminator is a, is a product that uses a stabilized chlorine dioxide. And what that does is it kills off unfriendly bacteria and funguses and things like that. But it has some amazing abilities to support your, your body's healing system. So that's the Terminator that Marilyn talks about. When Marilyn uh, gets a cut, when she gets bitten by a spider, when she has uh, mosquito bites, she puts that on there and it works. And then she talked about another product called Organic Cleanse. And what Organic Cleanse is, it's a, it's a, um, a pre-rinse or a pre-wash that you're supposed to use on your fruits and vegetables because, uh, uh, there it is, thanks Marilyn. And, and the organic cleanse, um, what it does, it pulls off all the residue of the pesticides, it pulls off the residue of the, of the chemicals that are sprayed on your fruits and vegetables. And, and as Marilyn explained, she even soaks like the chicken and the prawns in it because it pulls the toxins out. And that's important because we live in a toxic world, like Marilyn was saying. Everything we do is toxic today. So those are two really, really important products. And, and Marilyn, I really appreciate you sharing that because I think a lot of people, they look at the, at the showcase products like the CBD, they look at the H2 products, they look at the age product, and they don't look at the products like what you, like you just shared. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome, Curtis. As I say, I can't stress um, the, the power and the importance of those two products. Terminator, um, my son will spray it directly into his eyes. I don't have the guts to do that. <laughs> I put it into the palm of my hands and I'll pat my eyes if I've got um, an allergic reaction and my eyes are itchy. Um, I believe it'll, it'll he help to heal conjunctivitis. Yep, um, we can't say heal, Marilyn. No, Marilyn. We, no, can't we can't say it. It supports the body's Healing in getting rid of conjunctivitis. <laughs> um, okay. It's an amazing product. When it, when it came out, I actually rang um, Tom Jr.'s um, PA um, and I said to her, um, the predecessor, we used to call it a hospital in a bottle and it did this, this, this and this. And I said, would you mind just ducking in and asking Tom Will the Terminator do the same? There and back go. came the reply, yes, and probably a lot more. All right. Well, Marilyn, I got to run over here to Michael, and, and uh, I appreciate all your, your great testimonial. And again, thanks for sharing those two products especially, because I think a lot of people, they're kind of the unsung hero type products. So thank you. Michael, welcome to the call. How are you tonight? Hi, uh, Kurt. It's uh, Saturday morning over here, so uh, yeah, we, uh, we're a bit ahead of you. You know, they, they say that um, if you want to make a lot of money um, in in America, Americans can just ring up Australians and say, uh, "What's the market doing tomorrow?" That's right. And, how's it? And how's it over there tomorrow? How's it going? How, anyway, how are you going? How are you going, you guys say? Well, you know, Michael, when I was down in Australia last month and how quickly time goes by when I was down in Australia last month, you know, we had you over, um, over to Trevor's house and, uh, and you, you shared your story. You had just taken um, some of the products, some of the products that, that I brought with and shared some samples with you. And, and uh, you had some amazing testimonials that night. If you could, if you could share with people a little bit about, about what you noticed. I appreciate that. Yeah, a couple of observations. One was um, uh, due to your great generosity, you gave me some um, H2 sticks. And um, about a year before uh, that time, I'd been diagnosed with uh, peripheral neuropathy, mainly just numbness in the feet. And uh, I was told, well, it's just a product of you know getting older you know your circulation is not as good or whatever um and then i started taking the h2 stick you know i brought a lot of a bottle along that night that you came to give it to me and um and i'd say within within about five days the 
that 95% of the peripheral neuropathy has gone away. And wow. um, so I've found that quite remarkable. So it's good to have feeling back in your feet. And uh, it's interesting, one of, my, um, one of my friends here at the set of units where I'm living, um, I was chatting with him one day, Bill, and he said, um, I told him, you know, I had a bit of pure, peripheral neuropathy and he said, oh yeah, I, I can't feel my legs below my knees. Holy and uh, it, the funny thing is it can, you know, he's still walking around. Okay. But, um, it just doesn't have any feeling down there. So, and, um, I'm not sure if he's got diabetes or whatever, but, um, his legs looked okay. So I think there's a lot of people, you know, as you get older, there's a bit of pure, peripheral neuropathy. Also, if you get some osteoarthritis in, in your spine or your neck, eventually that can um, develop into um, a neuropathy in your hands, you know, so you start not feeling your fingers. So it can get quite serious. So I think this H2 stick is phenomenal that it can have a result so quickly um, and, and also benefits in other areas of your life. Like I noticed that more energy and I try to go for a run for about 30 minutes every day and um, I just felt lighter, you know, like when you're running, if you don't feel, you know, properly energized by your food or whatever, the running, you can still do the running, but it just feels a bit heavy and you don't go as fast. Whereas right. with the H2 stick, I know the, the running's a lot more enjoyable because you feel more light on your feet and, um, and you can go faster. I try to, um, I try to, I've got a part of my run that I do. I've measured out a hundred meters so I can time myself. And I know the, the um, what is it? The, the, the world record for hundred meters, about nine seconds. I can only do it in 24 seconds. So <laughs> way yeah, to go well. yet. But anyway, good to have a goal and test yourself. It sort of gets the, the blood going too, you know, gives you a lot of good aerobic, aerobic activity. That's right. And exercise like that, which is good for what I found out too, um, with the activity, you know, the H2 stick, you know, allows you to run faster. And also I've done some research recently, some YouTube videos on, um, um, uh, what does it call it? Neuroscience and also uh, telomere lengthening just by doing exercise, let alone taking TSX or any of the age pill or any of the other products. Just by exercise, it um, it slows down the length, uh, it slows down the shortening of your telomeres. Right. So that just just exercise increases your longevity. So it's a good thing to know. That's now the right. second thing I want to do uh, just mention um, about radiation from mobile phones and Wi-Fi. It's microwave radiation and any uh, radiation of that strength um, damages the DNA. So this is connected with the h pill and TSX in the sense that these products repair DNA. But the problem is if we don't also become aware of the deleterious effects of radiation, then it's like driving a car with the foot on the brake and the accelerator at the same time. So you've got, you know, with the radiation effects, mobile phone and Wi-Fi, um, the problem is it damages the DNA. Any, any radiation above 10 microwatts per cubic uh, uh, square centimetre damages the DNA. And the safety level the US administration has deemed to be safe is 1000 microwatts per square centimetre. And so all the, um, all the telephone, mobile telephone companies, the cell phone companies and all the people making these um, products that uh, give us all the advantages of Wi-Fi and telephones and all that, they make these products that um, you know, it's all legal for it to be damaging to your DNA. So um, I think we need to be aware of that. And by, because we have that damage and then you take the age pill so the age pill sort of reduces the damage to the DNA, but you're not, you're not making any further advances in your longevity because you're just standing still, you know, so you, you get the radiation problem and the, and the age pill will get, will, will alleviate it to some extent, 
but it um, the problem is it doesn't increase your longevity because you're just standing still. You know, your hand, your foot's on the brake and the accelerator at the same time. So what I do, just from a practical point of view at home, I don't have any Wi-Fi at home. Not much you can do about Wi-Fi, you know, units around you or houses around you, but at least you can stop that. And also with my mobile phone, um, I just check the messages, you know, every few hours and then I'll turn it off. I just check the messages for a few minutes and then turn it off again or put it in airplane mode. And um, I've got everything at home. I've just got wired through um, Ethernet, Ethernet wired connection. So I don't have any Wi-Fi at home at all. And I find that um, that helps with your energy as well by reducing your radiation, uh, your, your exposures to radiation like that. And Wi-Fi is just as bad. Wi-Fi is almost as strong as the mobile phone radiation. It's still microwave. So um, it's very convenient, but um, it does have bad effects on you. Bluetooth is not so bad. Bluetooth is very, very, very weak. So um, that's okay. So it's just an observation I came across through some research I came across recently. You bet. Well, like you said, Michael, you know, when you take a look, we got to be really careful and we can't say that it does this or does that because, you know, the products like the age pill and the TSX have never actually been tested. We aren't a, a testing facility, but the ingredients have. So if you take a look at astragalus, the cycle of astragalinol, the astragalus side, you know, there's research on them and, and it shows that they will help with the, with the telomeres by supporting healthy telomeres. So that's what we can, we can make the claim on. We can't make any claims that it does it does this or does that as far as disease and then with the age pill you know the studies on that it supports the the ingredients of the age pill the the, the niacin and nicotinaminic acid and and uh the tryptophan different things we can make we can make we can show the research on those but the age pill itself all we can do is say that it supports uh the systems in your body that help to keep you healthy. You know, and, and when you're talking about damaged DNA, the one the one product that I do want to tell you about, Michael, that you really want to look at, it's uh, it's it, the ingredient, it's called resveratrol. And resveratrol, it activates the sirtuin genes. And the cert one gene is the is the gene that that helps with actually with the damaged DNA. When the DNA gets damaged, the resveratrol is probably one of the best products on the market for that. And, uh, and we include uh, really high doses, a high potency form of, of resveratrol in our Eternity product. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there. But again, we're talking about resveratrol. We can't make the claims about, about Eternity. We can't make those medical claims about age pill or, or, uh, or the uh, TSX, just that, that it improves that. So uh, Michael, thanks for sharing your testimonial with us tonight. Marilyn, thanks for being uh, on and sharing sharing your testimonial. Uh, Alan, thanks for being on and sharing your testimonial tonight. Uh, what a great call. Get this out to other people. And I know we ran over time just by a little bit, you know, by about 10 minutes. And uh, so I'll get this posted um, on YouTube here just uh, in, the next, uh, in the next couple of hours. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dr. Kurt.